Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man uh, Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game with only one soldier per mission, of course on the highest difficulty. There are a few things that we might want to do. Number one, promote our soldiers. Roby gets a nice little rapid shot and we have threat assessment right here. Good. I am going to try to speed up the uh, the globe a little bit, and by that we're going to skip some of the missions that might not be as relevant for us. But we gotta appreciate we just got this. Um, new soldier here we're so deep in the actual campaign already that the soldiers which we're getting start at major rank let me color code her there we go much better anyways i was about to say it already means we're getting majors so the next tier then would be colonels all across the board As for the missions that we that we should or should not uh, do, anything that adds a substantial benefit to us is welcome. But it needs to be a really, really good um, reason for doing it. The advanced perception one, 112 intel. Uh, 112 supplies, I think we're fine. There's a superior sup uh, uh, perception here, but I don't think that we need that at the moment. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm trying to speed up the globe a bit, so some of the missions are simply not going to be relevant for us. Got our engineer back. Nice. We got a power uh, power relay, so we can free up. We can free up our other engineers right here, which means the excavation in the future will move faster, and we got. Nice little 41 uh, power, enough to go with the shadow chamber and whatever else we would want to build. Destroy the alien relay. And undercover civilian present in this combat zone can be contacted to gain valuable rewards. Interesting. So the reason why I would want to do this mission is to prevent the Avatar project. The mission is effectively worth two blips here. And managing the Avatar project is one of our core activities. I think we need another set of blue screen rounds. And there we go. Sky Ranger deployed in position for deployment. There we go. Look at that. Who has gotten a friend? It's a me. Seven rounds for a destruction of the relay. Okay, sounds fair. I am trusting you. So 
So we are in normal concealment with the stun lancer. That's good. Not sure what the civilian is going to offer. I think I have never had that side trap. And that's got to mean something because I've had a lot of side traps. Oh, supplies. Good, so far everything works out very well. Hmm, so... I do have an idea. That's eight points of damage, and yeah, it doesn't make any difference. No, it's fine, we can stay in half cover. I don't mind. Okay, so this shouldn't trigger anyone. Boy, oh boy, how hardcore defended is this, please? I feel bad for the stun lancer. He's definitely going to get wrecked. But as long as they deal with him, even better for us. Carefully moving over. Moving as ordered. I believe this is our objective. All right. Samansa will not go down without a fight. There we go, critical hit. F you, buddy. <laughs> Got three Archons now. I thought he was immune to mind control. Well, I think we're not going to get him back. Most likely not. Ikes. That sucks. the way. 
my turn. Okay, starting to hit the target. Certainly don't want to deal with all of these guys here. We must go now. Just to make sure that everything's fine. Putting ourselves in a good position. Sting. This will hurt. Just in time, we're going to do it just in time. It's down to one HP. And, and the mind controlled Sun Lance is still standing there. They are not even attacking him. That's great. Oh, we get him back. How fortunate. Just revealed ourselves. Okay, short question, is this here going to give us money? No, it isn't. Okay, we can't fight that. I'll just, I'll just get him out of here or let him be killed. Over ambitious, I wanted to kill the mech. Ouch. Big ouch. Well, I don't think that the mission was went poor. I think it went actually quite well. We countered the dark event. I think we scored zero kills though. But yeah, we just we did it just in time. And there we go. Thirty six supplies and major breakthrough prevented. Good. The thirty six supplies are the icing on the cake. The breakthrough is the actual advantage. Avenger plotting new course. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on See, and that's why we wanted to to uh, get the uh, prevent the major breakthrough. Damn, we got injured. Well, I mean, now that um, Hawkbutt is injured.
We could give him a promotion. We need something that is short. Seven days is okay. Ten days is already too long. Problem is I don't want to play an ambush, not with unnecessary characters. See, this here is something that's very moderate. Um, So how long is Hogbite out of the mix? 13 days, that's unacceptable. We need to scan at the Templar HQ to make sure that he comes back faster. Because the whole reason why we're doing the whole, uh, the Covert Ops missions is we want um, to make him a beast. Good, nice. Next up, plasma rifles. And that will help us a lot, the plasma weapons it is. Because with them, uh, we finally can get a breakthrough to get the highest tier of weapons. Wait, 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 what did... Uh, I should have watched what the other Chosen is doing. My bad. But we can still look it up. I figured that that might be the case. Okay, we can't go on any missions with uh, them as long as we're being tracked. If we're being shut down, I want to make sure that we can handle the mission. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Our understanding of the Elder's vision has that's 10 days. What else do we have? Counter chosen activity. That is exactly what we should do. We get mobility out of it, on top of it, which is great. We wanted to have mobility anyways. Health is great as well. Another mobility. Still lightly wounded. <laughs> Let's wait for him to come back. That's an option for a supply raid, which we currently don't need. I think he just recovered. We've constructed the ring facility, Commander, but currently we don't have any soldiers to with the resistance. Good, which means we can do it in eight days. Definitely don't want him to be um, discovered or ambushed. Uh, captured, rather. Have a high chance to be wounded. 
Hmm. Are the others also... No. Well, some of them are having a high chance to get wounded. I think it's just a matter of accepting that. What a shitty weapon. I really feel for him. Let's hope we're not getting ambushed. So that will that would save us from being forced to do the mission. Avengers. And if if we can prevent an Avenger attack, that is good. I'll take it any day of the week. Superior agility is great, superior speed is good as well. We can buy kernels now isn't bad either in case we need one I like the agility but I think we we are fine at the moment Okay, time to go on. The problem with so many facilities is we constantly need to shut them down. That's another retaliation side. Again, we're just losing income, so there is no reason for us to do that. Let's hope we get the counteractivity through. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move well, fast. We got an ambush at our hands. Well, no point for us to immediately rush to the extraction point. Matter of fact, gotta wait a little bit. Okay, time to show show these suckers of what we're made of. So. Time for some good old Overwatch plus Bladestorm. This is going to be fun. Well, hello there. Unfortunately, we haven't researched school mining yet. Everyone took some severe damage. You know, I do have an idea. We need focus anyways. Let's start here. Kill the captain. He might have some loot. No, he doesn't.
time for teamwork. We are not going to have any other really difficult encounters. Might as well use it now. There is the second piece of focus. And let's move up so that our blade storm will kill him. Good. Picking the Templar to move him into position. Moving with um, Edgar and Poe here as well. Oh, sorry, Dark Tower Noxus, of course. We will fight against a mechanical unit. That's fine. We can easily deal with that. I'm all over it. Moving in with Hogbite, and let's wait for the loss. They can come into our direction, and I think even our Bladestorm at this point can could most likely kill them. Good, there we go, that's the third piece of focus. And now they can all run next to us and get slaughtered one at a time. There's the mech. Let's remove the overwatch here, shall we? Very nice. Ooh, okay. Now it's getting interesting. Perry, our Bladestorm will kill the mech, and that's probably going to be a psionic bomb. I figured. Of course, he's going to hit the Codex. This world is ours. So this is going to split the Codex. We're still going to parry, and we might be able to kill the one Codex. Yep, there we go. Bladestorm should deal with the rest. Oh no, teleport doesn't trigger Bladestorm, my bad.
Almost. Good. So individual pulls are not a problem at all for the uh, for the Templar. Probably the opposite. That's really what he thrives in. To make things a little bit more absurd, how about how about we move into here? And we'll give Dark Tower a few kills. Never mind. His weapon is not strong enough to kill a zombie. <laughs> now the fun begins. Double Blade Storm. Moving in. And there seems to be absolutely nothing. Which means we can evac relatively soon. And then that uh, was already the mission. Can't fully move out of here. We can use the ghost in order to split him. Well, or he disorient uh, disorients him, and therefore the codex just dies. That's our Larium core for school mining, which we were looking for. So now we can start researching school mining. Easy. Very easy, and we even got a nice piece of loot out of it. Dark Tower Noxus gets his first promotion, is now Corporal. Good job, buddy. And Bond Level Up is available. Here's the Alarum Core that we were requiring. There is additional intel. And we finally countered his activity, meaning we can now start going on to this mission. Problem is, Dr. Onoxus cannot join him because he's not high enough as a level. Which means we can't shorten it to nine days. I want the extra health. That's probably the main step that we are going after. 
getting as much health as possible and movement. So, now we don't need to be afraid about the potential invasion anymore, but we still have the Avatar project as a problem. And we've got to deal with that. Shadow Chamber seems like a natural idea here. Oh, and whilst we're at it... We wanted to get the school mine uh, mining going. Good. Moving on. Let's excavate down here. Might as well speed up the school mining just a little bit can always reshift the engineer a little bit later. Uh, <laughs> that stinks. Because um, we can't protect the device. Very difficult mission. Hmm. I really would want to to do the mission, but let's be realistic. Very difficult means eighteen enemies. Hmm. I mean, maybe we can. Maybe we're getting our stun lancer or. A partner into the mission, in which case we may be able to tomb in that, but then again it's a protect the device mission, which is a nicer way of saying mm -mm, that's really really difficult. I suppose it doesn't hurt if we're trying it with our Reaper, just so that we can see if we can do it. But that happens in the next mission, guys. And maybe... Maybe we will need to research the facility lead sooner than later. Because we're almost full with our Avatar project. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy the content and the back and forth against the aliens, please let me know. Um, leave a comment down below or a thumbs up. Uh, your comments are always much appreciated. Thank you so much and see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.